good afternoon from Community World Service Asia uh, and from the region. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about our partnership as a regional Asia Pacific partner with Sphere and its, its wonderful team in Geneva. The partnership started 20 years ago in October 2005 after the massive earthquake struck northern parts of Pakistan and India. At that time, the Sphere board decided to deploy a focal person, which was at that time Sylvie Roberts, to Pakistan, to our office. We were the host organization. And that was this huge start, beginning of a, a very empowering, empowering and dignified partnership between us and Sphere. And it has only grown since then. From the Pakistan focal agency, we became the regional partner in Asia and Pacific. It has been a very enriching partnership. Sphere team truly supports, cooperates and collaborates with us. They really respect the field and the experiences we have in the field and support uh, the growth uh, that, uh, in, in our area. The Sphere office also responds positively. The team is very positive, very responsive to any and every request that we make out of Asia and Pacific. The, obviously, as the regional uh, partner, Asia Pacific, it has been challenging. You just look at the size, all the way from the Pacific to, to Afghanistan. Massive, 75, 74% of all the disasters actually happen in Asia and Pacific. So it's a huge undertaking. But it is it has been possible because of cooperation from focal points, from SEER and other colleague agencies uh, who are working also in quality and accountability, but also in coordination and networking. Languages and cultures, very diverse. diverse. Asia Pacific, extremely diverse. So working in that diverse context is also very challenging. Understanding the needs, the language, translating all the regional languages to, to English and back and forth, it, it can be quite challenging. But again, we have been extremely uh, lucky to have excellent organizations as focal points in countries all over Asia Pacific. They are very interested in standards and quality and accountability. They're very involved. They're very committed and they are always, you find them, very engaged. And considering that it's so huge, so many disasters are happening in, in Asia Pacific, most of the time they have a very full workload, a full plate, but they're always responsive. Uh, and respond in a very positive way to invitation to collaborate and work together jointly uh, with all the focal points and collaborating agencies. We've done deployments after disasters in the Philippines, in Nepal, in, in Japan, in Sri Lanka, in Afghanistan, in Pakistan. Again, jointly in partnership with all these focal points, partnering agencies, and the SWIR team. We have trained more than 12,000 people in quality and accountability. We have, we have came from national organizations, they came from international organizations, UN and the, and the agencies. Uh, talking about challenges, another big challenge was COVID. We all went into this isolation in many ways, just not individually, but as organization, as a community, as a sector. And it was only last year that we first initially started virtually connecting uh, the dots all over again. And last December, we had our first face-to-face -face meeting in Bangkok which was extremely successful. Once again, we have a very vibrant group working all over Asia Pacific. <coughs> and we believe that it's a very successful model that we have in Asia Pacific. And we definitely, the work is huge. The challenges are huge. So we definitely need more, need more focal points, more regional partner agencies, not in Asia Pacific, but around the globe. We also have to work jointly to raise resources for quality and accountability work, 
make sure everybody meets the standards. And as some organizations, this is a challenge, including the UN agencies, find it that uh, maybe quality and accountability comes later. No, we believe that quality and accountability starts the day we start our relief operations. So we have to save lives, assist communities in distress uh, in a dignified way, in a transparent way, in an accountable way, and make sure from day one we meet all the standards. And all this can only be done if we work together the way we work together in Asian Pacific. Thank you very much.